everyone, Dr. Barbara here, and I'm here to talk a little more about um, my recovery from post-traumatic stress, the things that I did to release the, the traumatic stress that was impacting my brain. And uh, as we know, post-traumatic stress is not a mental illness, it is a brain trauma, and that it can be released, and that you need to do certain things to release it. Talk therapy doesn't work very well for it, but the techniques of changing the neural pathways in your brain really works well. Well, one of the things that I did, and I don't talk about this very much because quite frankly, I'd forgotten about it and I haven't written about it, but this one particular thing that I did was called rolfing, R-O-L-F-I-N-G, like golfing, but with an R. And um, it's deep tissue body work, massage, and I would, it's, it can be painful, but it, I had a wonderful rolfer and she was just beautiful and it was quite relaxing and a lot of deep breathing and a lot of releasing. And um, what happens is they, they straighten out the muscle fibers so that it, the muscles aren't twisted inside the fascia that surrounds the muscle. There's this thin membrane that holds your muscles together. And so you want to hang, your muscles want to hang smoothly in that sac. And so that's what rolfing does. But one of the other benefits of rolfing is that it releases muscle memory so that we hold memories in our muscles. And, and a lot of the trauma from my childhood was still being held in the muscles. And so I went through the 10 week program and I would come off of the table after every session and I would just weep buckets of tears. I would just weep and weep. Thank God she understood. She would just sit there and, you know, pat my arm until, until it passed. And it was releasing a lot of the old memories that I was holding in my body. So one day after I had gone through that, I was here in Virginia driving and I got really angry at this garage attendant. I mean, who gets angry at a garage attendant? You know, you might get a little ticked off or think he's annoying, but I was in a blind white rage over at this guy and I'm driving away thinking, this is not about that guy. This is something else that's going on. And, and at, at that point I had this vision flash into my mind and it was this vision and I had to stop the car right in the middle of Wilson Boulevard in Arlington because I was just in the middle of this vision I couldn't even see. I stopped the car and I just saw this deep quarry inside of me, this deep, deep quarry that had all this black, cold water in it. And in my vision, this very sharp pointed object came from about up here and came all the way down this very long needle like uh, object and it hit the water and it sucked out all of that black water from that quarry that I had inside. And all of that black water turned out to be the sorrow that I was holding. And, and it just like went away and the cars are honking at me and I had to finally drive along. But I, you know, you can't, I couldn't even see, I had to stop and deal with it. All the sorrow just left me that day. It was just incredible. All the sorrow that I had held onto for my entire life. And I'm, I'm in nearly fifties, I'm in my fifties by now. And it just left, it just went away and I don't, no longer held on to that sorrow. It was quite the remarkable experience. So, you know, I totally recommend that you get some kind of body work. I don't know if there's a lot of rolfers around anymore. It's a really wonderful technique, but there's all, all other kinds of cranial sacral work. There's other kinds of, you know, shiatsu. Find out what's out there in terms of the muscle um, manipulation because you have to get that that memory out of your body in in addition to getting it out of your brain so i wish you all the best i hope that you find this helpful and thanks for joining me bye